Hey everybody, welcome back to Garage Gear. I'm JB, and this is my buddy Holden. What's up? All right, he's here to help us out talking about spark plugs today, ladies and gentlemen. So, if you have an engine that maybe isn't starting up so well, usually a lot of times people say, oh, check the spark plug, check the spark plug. Well, today, it's gonna be a really simple fix. I'm gonna show you how to not spend any money and fix these things up perfectly, all right? So let's get to it. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, on a snowblower, you got your spark plug here. And if it's not starting up correctly, chances are it could be a spark plug, it could be a carburetor issue, but today our main focus is going to be the spark plug. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop this cord off, all right? And we have our spark plug deep down inside, and we're gonna take a wrench, we're gonna take it out, and we're gonna show you how dirty and crummy they can be and how we can clean them. All right, so Holden, what do we got here? We got our tool to pull off the spark plug with, right? Yep. And if you look here, we're gonna just kind of zoom in. It's got this hex bottom here, which is gonna help twist off our spark plug. And then we have a screwdriver in the other hand, right? Yep. So we're just gonna kind of slip it through. All right, yep. so we kind of see how that goes. Yep. Perfect, okay. All right, so now, why don't you go ahead and pop it on there, and we can start unscrewing that thing. All right, so we slide it on, real easy. Okay, he gets it on there. Once he finds it's all the way on, Looks pretty good, yeah, cool. All right, so now he's gonna stick the screwdriver through and then kind of untwist it that way and then once he kind of gets it loosened up, he's gonna twist it by hand. It sounds like he's pretty much got it at that point. Yeah, cool. All right, so let's see that thing. All right, so we do have some corrosion on here, a little bit of a blackened end, but we're gonna clean this all up. It's gonna run like brand new it's gonna look super shiny probably when it's done too. All right, next step, here we go. Okay, everybody, so here we are. We got Holden back at the workbench and we got the spark plug sitting in our vise and you can see, I'll let you kind of get in close to this thing. It's pretty black on that tip. We're just gonna clean it all up. It's gonna get a much better spark. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna torch it. We're gonna heat it up real hot. We're gonna turn it bright red, maybe an orange is red and uh, then we're gonna let it cool down. So we're gonna heat it up, and Holden, that's your job, all right? So let's heat that baby up. So he's gonna twist open the, top, the cap until it starts to whistle. There we go. All right, he's gonna give it a click. There we go. So as you can see, he's just heating it up until it turns a bright orange just red. So we're just gonna let it sit there for a minute or two. We're gonna get this baby red hot. So caution everybody, do not touch it for about, I would say the next 10 minutes or so. It has to cool down. It's gonna be very, very hot. It will burn your hands. So please be careful when you're trying this. So let's lift it up just a little bit. That's good, right there. Right there, perfect. See how it's starting to turn orange there? Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna burn off all this carbon that's on there. We're just gonna fry it all off. And then we'll come in with a wire brush later and scrape it all off. But I, do, I have done this, ladies and gentlemen, to hundreds, hundreds of spark plugs before and I have never paid for a new one. I never have. And these usually run about, I would say five to $15, depending on which ones you get or which ones you need. Doing this can actually save you some money in a trip to Home Depot or Lowe's or wherever you may go. So we're just gonna torch it. Tell you what, let's move in just a smidge closer. You know, a little hotter. You see how the little tip is starting to turn orange there? We're gonna let it keep going. I'll tell you what, why don't we move you, just keep the flame on it, and we'll move you this way. We'll kind of point it at it this way a little bit, okay? Keep coming my way, keep pointing right at it, keep it hot. That's good, right there. Excellent. See that thing turning orange? Yeah. Keep that flame on it, there you go. Good job. Good job. You can eat these things up pretty good, ladies and gentlemen. I have actually had uh, somebody tell me before, like, this is not 
a good idea because it can harm the, the white end of the uh, spark plug down there. And you know what? I've done this so many times and I have never had a problem. So it could cause some expansion in some spots, I guess, but you know what? I've never had an issue doing this and it always seems to work out well. So we're gonna now, uh, we're gonna give it about another couple seconds here. We'll go five, four, three, two, and one. Good, that'll do. All right, so we're gonna turn that off. All right, what do you think, Holden? Look pretty, pretty cool. Looks pretty cool? Yeah. Yeah, looks good to you? Yeah. All right, cool. Okay, so we just got done torching this spark plug here. You can kind of see that we got some crustiness going on. We let it cool down for about 10 minutes or so and it's kind of got this grayish look to it. It's not so much black anymore. So what we're gonna do now is Holden's got a wire brush and we're just gonna kind of get in there and clean it all up. So go at it, Holden, go at it. And that'll probably do. Excellent. Look good to you? Look good to you, Holden? Yeah. I think yeah. so. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah, I'd say so. All right, so let's zoom in here. Okay, so we got much more shiny metal exposed. So that's really good. All right, so Holden, what's our next step going to be here? We're going to use uh, blowing all this uh, dust off. Right. To get more of that shiny metal. Right. Right, all right, so go to it. So he's gonna blow it off all from all sides. There we go, good. Get all the little black crumbs out of there. That's looking a lot shinier. Good job. Cool. All right, so there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. We got a nice, pretty clean spark plug. We do have some corrosion right there on this thing, but you know what? We're not worried about that. That doesn't affect anything. So we're just gonna get this thing back on the snowblower and we're gonna be ready to roll. And we're not gonna worry about gapping it. That's been done already, that's fine. So we're just gonna get it back on. We'll get the uh, engine started up and we'll be ready to roll. Okay, so here we go. We're ready to get this thing started. We're gonna hit our switch to on. We're gonna adjust our throttle just a little bit. I'm gonna open my choke up. I'm gonna prime it about three or four times and give it a pull there, Holden, give it a pull. All right. There we go. Good. So Holden, that thing runs pretty good, huh? Yeah. Yeah. It runs pretty good. It does, it does. So we did a good job. We cleaned up that spark plug. It started on the second pull. And I think it's going to continue to start on that first or second pull from here on out. So yeah. I think we did a pretty good job. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. We took out the spark plug. We cleaned it on the workbench. We took a torch to it. We brushed off all the carbon. We cleaned that all off. It's nice and shiny. We put it back in and we got it started on the first or second pull. So ladies and gentlemen, there you go. That is how you clean a spark plug. Super cheap, super easy. No need to go out and buy more of them and spend the money, all right? So hold it. Pretty simple, right? Yeah. Pretty easy job? Yeah. All right, and how long did that take us? Like, not even 20 minutes. Yeah, it was a quick job, right? A couple minutes to do, and there you go. So, I mean, it took us longer just to film the whole thing than it did yeah. to actually do the job, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so there you go, ladies and gentlemen. So real easy. Give it a shot. All right. Please like and subscribe. Again, thanks for watching Garage Gear. I'm JB and... I'm Holden Miller. All right. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you soon.